Good morning, everybody. From Belmont Harbor on this humid Chicago morning. We daily vlogs. If you're new to this video, make sure you come back every day. It's the start of the week, and I have a good feeling about this week. Even though it's starting off sweaty and humid. Got a good feeling about this week. Look at this. Gorgeous. Look at that skyline. No better way. No better way to start the week. Look at that. Boom. Best city in the world. Hi. Hi. Oh, goodness. I had to document Teddy being happy during tummy time. Because this does not happen often. Good morning. Good morning, sweetie pie. Evie's in need of attention too. Oh, you got dust on your head. And James is making that lovely music. <laughs> Good morning, girlie. Good morning. <laughs> Oh no, you can't take it. Right in his side. We are on our, oop, Teddy's hat was falling off. We are on our walk. And I was thinking, now that Teddy is 10 weeks old, he turned 10 weeks yesterday, that I might do a more extensive, like, day with me. What are those called? Day in the life. Um, I might end up doing that, like even putting like timestamps and stuff because we we are kind of in a routine now. Um, so comment below, what do you think? I like to give Jamesy leafs and see what his reactions are. Look at this one. Uh, not impressed? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Wow. There are so many moving trucks. One just passed down the street today with it being the first of the month. It's crazy, they're everywhere. I have only just gone around the block and that is the fifth truck. I found this plaque on my walk. Funny enough, there are a ton of these on Route 66. So funny, just off of Broadway on Buckingham, if you are familiar with the area. And since my last clip, I've seen two more and like a pods pod. Crazy, this area. I mean, we love our neighborhood. It must be. I don't know if the timing is why. Why this first of the month? Maybe I just never noticed before. Um, but yeah, this first of the month is busy. Jamesy is asleep. It is gonna be really warm this week. High 80s, low 90s. And I think since I last wore Teddy, he's just gotten bigger. Like I feel like like sore like on my shoulders like this is more of a workout which which is great because I'm kind of hoping that this walk nap situation is also part like get out and moving for me so I just was able to tell Peter I was on my way and he's gonna help me up the stairs uh, 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 James woke up from his nap and he wanted to play, so we put all of his plush in the crib. Bambi. <laughs> you wanna get up? Mom and dad are over here talking about contacting another set of builders in Florida to get options. And so James, he says, I'm gonna start building my own stuff. What do you think? Why does she like binkies all of a sudden? You hated them as a child, as a baby. True. Oh, you want me to put that one down? I want to put that one right there. Booyah! What? 
You're so goofy. We were tested on the first day of No Spun August because it's Sarah's parents' anniversary. We almost went out to dinner, but we didn't. Instead, we will be home. Oh, you think it's funny? You kicking that teddy bear because your name's Teddy? We're gonna have delicious looking dinner. It's just pesto butter, Romano cheese, salt, pepper. Simple as you can get. So nice. Holding your brother's hand. <laughs> That's so fun. I did it. Oh goodness. Just before that he definitely poked his eye. <laughs> he's so he's always been so good at being gentle. When did it get so windy? When is it? City of big shoals, big dreams. Another moving truck. I've been hunting moving trucks in today's vlog. Okay. I've definitely seen over 10. Ooh, yeah. This is the first, I forgot. Yeah. Also, James has been like blowing raspberries at Teddy and like laughing. And I don't know when he like learned that that was a goofy thing to do to someone. I guess he's got two goofy parents. Well, at least one. But I don't. Which one? <laughs> I, I mean, like do we blow raspberries them? at each other or at him? <laughs> you cannot pull raspberries at each other. <laughs> I feel like I feel like <laughs> I feel like Sims do that to each other. Maybe at James, yeah, probably. Maybe each other. <laughs> For all the moving trucks we're seeing and Amazon trucks, we still haven't seen an Amazon Prime delivery truck made by Rivian, all electric, deployed. We, yeah, we haven't seen We're it downtown. In the city. We don't live downtown. Yeah, we don't live downtown. We live in the city. We're city folk. We're city folk for life, as we called three different house developers in Orlando today. And I want to clarify, we had a lot of comments being like, you're moving back to Orlando, and that is what we're talking about, buying a house in Orlando. But the grand scheme is to live in both. Like we've said yeah. for over a year, we're just like getting to the point now to where we actually have to make moves to like- yeah. The plan's always been like, or. Florida first to establish financial residency in Florida Makes in 2023. There first. And then hopefully by 2026, have like a condo or townhome Here. in Chicago. And until then, we have family. So we'll live. Until then, we're just going to live in Christian and Grant's gym in the basement. Basically. Teddy's been having this like smolder going on today. He does look older. He does. Sarah goes, he looks around today. His face just looks like more yeah. Like oh, oh, no. Okay, this is, I'm pretty sure that's not safe. Amazon, what are you doing? Also, look at this golden hour nest going on. Kind of gorgeous, right? Oh, being so gentle. Tire the boy out. Jump up, that's up. Planning down for the night. Both of the little boys are asleep. Evie's asleep. Um, and me and Peter are just kind of gonna sit on the couch, which rarely happens these days. We're gonna start the daily message back up again. August 1st, Monday, 
Very often you are in the right place at the right time, but you don't know it. Maria Tall Chief. I was so thirsty just now. I had took a swig of orange juice and I just brushed my teeth. Oh my gosh. Are you, a, are you a cup season ticket holder? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been to game in a long time. <laughs> we have tickets this weekend. It's good. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.